crispy, super flavorful, craveable, addicting, thin, paper thin. When it comes to pizza, Raina Heppenstahl is a girl who knows what she wants. I love my pizza so much that I'm a little disappointed when I go to other pizza places. It's a whole different ball game, but I love my pizza. You're not gonna find it anywhere else. No one else does it like us. It's truly a unique pizza experience when you come here. And at the corner grill, Thin is most definitely in. So we're really known for our thin crust pizza. It's thin and then think thinner. It's thinner than that. Put two credit cards together and that's the thickness of our pizza. Located on Worcester's west side, the Corner Grill is a quirky, casual BYOB spot where you'll find rolling pins lining the wall and colored pencils at your table. And the specialty of the house, of course, is their ultra-thin pizzas. It's like a cracker with a really good topping. You know, if you have a cracker, it's, eh, it's fine, but when you put a really good dip or cheese or anything, it's like, makes it. Raina has been in the business for over 20 years and developed a pizza that is truly different. And I'm half Greek and we come from a long line of, you know, restaurant people and the traditional Greek pie is like like a bar pie or a little thicker. So I was a little sick of that, to be honest. So we just, you know, decided to experiment in the kitchen. That's what we came up with and it worked. They're square. They're 14 inches by 14 inches. It should stand straight and we make it so there's no crust. I'm not a fan of crust. And I think it's waste. I like the crispy burnt ends. Some people come in and they're like, it's burnt on the sides, but then they get, after they taste, it's not technically burnt. It's just the crispy parts, you know, burning off in the oven. And when it comes to toppings, Raina likes to take dishes she knows and loves and put them on top of her pies. I love to eat, first and foremost. I, it's like a sport for me. So anything I try that I'm like, I wanna eat in large quantities, I try to develop it into a pizza. You know, mashed potatoes, Mexican street corn. We have like a curry, we have a brown butter. I mean, we have so many different toppings. Take for example, the New Betty, a Portuguese shout out to the seaside city of New Bedford. So the New Betty is a ground linguiça and chorizo base. And then we top it with kidney beans, red onions and green peppers. And then we take kale and we toss it with olive oil and sea salt. And then we blanket the whole top. And then when it goes in the oven, it crisps up. So you have a good kale crunch. I don't love kale. And if you love kale, you're lying. Crispy kale is the way to go. So this is a really good way to eat kale. Get your greens. It's super flavorful. It's a great pizza. Vegetarians will love the simple but satisfying sweet tomato and basil pie or the Mexicali street corn pizza. Who doesn't like Mexican street corn? So it's a base of a uh, chili crema and then we put roasted corn and then we have cogita cheese and then we hit it with a cilantro pesto and then a lime wedge. It'll make you think like you're eating Mexican street corn. The unique flavors continue through the menu with pizzas like the Tipsy Goat, layered with a Chardonnay leek sauce topped with chicken, prosciutto, goat cheese, and arugula. The Harvest Moon topped with brown sugar, roasted butternut squash, onion, sausage, and toasted pumpkin seeds. Even an Indian-style red curry chicken pie. And for a stick-to-your-ribs kind of pizza, nothing beats the mashed potato. It's a base of uh, garlic butter, and then we've got scallions and bacon. Then we do a, a fresh pot of mashed potatoes and our cheese blend, which is a little smoked gouda, a little mozzarella, crusts up in the oven. It's a great pie. An even greater pie, at least for meat lovers, is the caveman. Caveman's the old staple. It's like all the carnivore foods, hamburger, sausage, bacon. Then we add onions, green peppers, our mozzarella blend, but it's not heavily loaded. It's like a good balance, but if you're, you know, craving meat, it's a good pizza to have. But of all the pizzas, the chicken Caesar salad is most definitely the fan favorite. Our chicken Caesar salad pie, which is often copied, but never duplicated. It's got a base of our homemade Caesar salad dressing, and then we add chicken, tomatoes, and then we blanket it with a fresh, cool, Caesar salad that's been tossed in dressing, and that is our biggest seller. People will drive miles for it. The offerings go way beyond pizza here, with a refrigerator case loaded up with fresh juices and teas presented in adorable mason jars, prepared foods to grab and go, and a selection of house-made desserts, including one tremendously decadent brownie. We literally put a cheesecake on top of a brownie. I realized I like the cream cheese part in a cream cheese brownie, and there was never enough cream cheese for me. So we said, let's just put 
a thick layer of the cream cheese part. So it ended up being like a whole cheesecake on top of a brownie. That's my favorite, bar none. And more than having her favorite desserts and pizzas on demand, Raina loves being able to come into work day in and day out. Restaurant people are restaurant people. And if you're lucky enough to find your niche, I don't think you'll ever really leave it. It is a little mayhem at times. But the creative part, I live for. And um, it fills all aspects of me. Love it.